Many people often ask me how to create a full-size printout from Roxim of a rocket. Um, here we have a printout um, and I've actually laid it up on multiple sheets of paper and taped it together. Um, and basically this is what you're going to do if you want a full-size printout that you can lay your rocket on and measure things out. Um, so I'm going to take you to the computer now and I'll show you how to do this. Many people have asked, how do you create or print out a drawing that's exact 100% size of the full rocket from Roxim? Um, when you go to Roxim and you go to print, you can print out templates like uh, the nose cone, the fins, and the centering rings that will be exactly 100%. But when you go to the side view, Roxim actually uh, reduces the size of the rocket to fit whatever paper you're on. Um, so that's really not helpful. So, but we can do it if we export out the 2D drawing and then open it up in another program, like a drawing program, and then print it out from that drawing program. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Um, our first step is uh, to find an actual dimension for the rocket um, that we can use to scale. Uh, we can either use the length of the rocket, 27.008 inches, which is over here in the, the dimensions, or the diameter of the rocket. Uh, this is 2.6 inches, and that's what we'll use here. Uh, if your rocket is a different shape, you may have to actually open up a, a specific part like a body tube and actually find the dimension. Um, so, but once you have that dimension, remember it, write it down. Um, that's a hint. Write it down. Write down that dimension. Um, and then we're going to go up to the File, Export menu, and we're going to export out a 2D model. And I'm going to save it right to the desktop, and I'm going to call it just the name of the rocket, and then click Save. And it's saved it to the desktop, and I can go ahead and minimize Roxim and get that out of the way. Uh, the drawing program that I'm going to use here is a free program, because I know a lot of you don't have uh, programs like Adobe Illustrator, which is what I prefer. Uh, this one is called Inkscape, and you can download it for free uh, at inkscape.org. Um, and it is a drawing program. It's a vector program. It's not a painting program. It's a drawing program. And that's what you're going to need because it has extra precision on it that you don't get from a paint program. Um, so our first thing that we need to do is to open the, the file we just saved from Roxim. And Roxim saves it as an SVG format, and SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. Um, and just select it, and I saved it to the desktop, so then we'll just click Open. And Inkscape opens it up in a new window. And let me just kind of make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Um, when it exports out, um, all the lines are very thin, and that's why you don't see anything at the paper right now. Um, we can go here and grab the magnifying glass and zoom in, and now you can just barely see the lines. Uh, but don't worry about that. We'll change the line thickness later so that when it prints out, it prints out really nice. Um, our first thing that we need to do is to select the rocket. Um, sometimes it's a little bit hard to select it in this program. That's why I, I prefer Illustrator. Uh, I think, don't think I have it. There's a bunch of other stuff that it wants to select. Okay, now I have it. Um, so now I have the rocket, and here's the dimensions of the rocket. Uh, let's change it from pixels to inches. And this is the height, and that's 1.79 inches. But we only want to know the height of this body tube, because that's what we're going to compare to the 2.6 inches of the real tube that we had. So what we need to do is ungroup this. And there's a button here up in Inkscape called Ungroup Selected Groups. So I'll click on that and it ungrouped everything. Now I just need to select my body tube. Okay, so now I have my tube. Oops. And I don't want everything. I just want the tube. There's the tube. Okay. And it says our tube is 0.782 inches tall. And we have to scale that 
so it's exactly 2.6 inches. That's what our tube was before. So what we'll do is open up a calculator, and I got a calculator here somewhere. Here's a calculator. We're going to take 2.6 inches, which is the actual dimension of the tube, divided by 0.782, and then multiply that times 100. And this is going to be our percentage that we're going to scale the rocket. So go ahead and write that number down, 332.4808%. And then, now back here, we'll select everything because we're going to scale the entire rocket all at the same time. So I'm just on my keyboard, Control A to select everything. How come I'm not getting everything? I'm unfamiliar with this uh, program here, so please bear with me. Okay, I've got everything selected now. Um, and then we'll go to the object menu and then go to transform and every drawing program will have a transform menu and then click on the scale tab and we're going to scale proportionately and we're going to type in 332.4808% and click apply and close that and see basically now on our screen the rocket has been scaled upwards um, now we just need to change the line thickness and so uh, now we'll go to object fill and stroke and go to the stroke tab and change this to, to uh, points because uh, printers usually use points so I'm going to make it one point and click OK and see now it's nice and dark and you can now it's just a matter of printing it out um, let me uh, zoom in on a little bit so you can see it um, and you can double check uh, to make sure it's at a hundred percent by selecting that tube again let's see ungroup it And our tube is now 2.609, so we're very close. So uh, nine, nine thousandths of an inch off, which is pretty close. So if you go ahead and print now at 100%, it will print. This is what's going to print on your paper, and that, that's what you'll get. So that was how to scale up a rocket so it prints out at exactly 100%. And in a future video, I'll show you what you can do with this. Now that we know how to make the printout from RockSim, the next question you might have is, what are we going to do with this? Well, in a future video, I'll show you how uh, we can use this printout that we made here to create a canted engine mount where the, uh, the engines are canted. And you're going to need this because RockSim does not allow you to cant the engines um, in the program itself. Uh, so until that time, May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true. I'm Tim Van Milligan from ApogeeRockets.com. Okay. Hi, I'm Pat Butler. I'm from Montgomery, Illinois. Just stopping by to see Tim here. Um, I use Apogee products. I especially like RockSim. Um, it's a great program and something that everybody needs to be aware of. Tim really supports the rocketry industry, um, does a lot of educational stuff, especially with the newsletters. So there's a lot of information out there that he provides for people and that's a good reason to support his company.